Hi, Professor Russell Dupuy.、Uh, welcome to Kaos. We have long looked forward to your visit here, and thank you for a great talk as well. So today, I would like to ask you a few questions regarding the MOCVD technology, its impact, and、uh, And how Kaos and Saudi Arabia will benefit from this technology? So MOCVD has been invented for 50 years,、uh, as you mentioned. It has it has been used to produce virtually all the compound semiconductor material and devices today for our cell phone and computers. But those are very tangible thing we can see in our daily life. What are the other impacts the MOCVD technology has brought to the human society that? Is not very visible to the normal、uh, people here. Well, thank you again for this wonderful visit and for this opportunity to visit this beautiful campus.、Uh, regarding your question, that clearly most people don't realize when they touch their cell phone that they're actually accessing a vast network of optical fibers, and the sources and detectors that are employed in that optical system are grown by MOCVD. So. Virtually every time you check your email, you're touching MLCVD-grown device technology. So that's that's a big impact factor since the internet has been created. And I remind everyone to see intergalactic network, and we are actually communicating intergalactically now.、Uh, the other part of this is、uh, to do with the future, which will be a global network. Uh, of satellites, so and millimeter wave technology, based on compound semiconductors. Everyone, I think, is aware of silicon technology, but that has reached a limit, and the next phase will be incorporating three five semiconductors with silicon devices run by MLCVD. So, it will so certainly become more ubiquitous, certainly become more of an impact across the planet. It already is, but it will, it will be even greater as time goes on. So,、uh, going from today, going from this year, going from the 50th anniversary of MOCVD, what kind of technology and devices do you think the MOCVD can potentially bring to the society in the future? Well, that's for you to tell us, but、uh, and your students. But I can speculate that as we move forward with higher the higher demand for information and Computing that will see、uh, broader integration of silicon and three five technology, which is beginning now to be developed.、Uh, obviously, there are medical applications that are important as well.、Uh, as you know, in in positron emission tomography scans, those are currently silicon detectors and that are used in those imaging systems. But actually, three fives are a better Match to the requirement, so I envision eventually that higher resolution, more rapid medical scanning、uh, will be developed with systems based on compound semiconductors grown by MLCVD. That's a, a whole new area that will benefit society and and the human race. Clearly, better communication is also a benefit that will continue to develop.、Uh, solar power will be developed with compound semiconductors that will. Benefit people and and our planet. So I, I see that area and and general sensors,、uh, sensors for the environment, sensors for pollution. Those will be developed by MLCVD devices too. There were、uh, quite a few students in the audience when you gave the talk. So for them, like, what kind of advice can you give them so that they can be successful in the future? Well,、uh, obviously. The one thing that you can always say is work hard,、uh, be flexible, be ready to overcome adversity because it will come. You will have setbacks.、Uh, keep a positive attitude. The most critical thing I think is to to be open to new ideas and to have the ability to take what Mother Nature's. Teaching you in your experiments and applying it to、uh, the next problem. So, Kaos, as you know, is still a relatively young university. It was founded in 2009, and so because you have been to many many places, you have seen a lot of the development of different schools and universities. So, how do you think of Kaos, and how do you think of Kaos' role in advancing the technology and science in the Middle East as well as the entire world? 
obviously, as you say, Kaust is very young, and I have to really applaud King Abdullah for the vision of creating this wonderful place. I'm very impressed with your facilities, that's a given, but I'm also impressed with the people here, with the quality of the people and the ideas they're exploring. Uh, clearly, uh, there's a lot to be done across the planet to improve our lives, and our, our planet has many crises that it faces, not the least of which is global warming, uh, and we all need to focus on how to solve those problems, how to remove the barriers between different societies and improve communication. Uh, obviously, there is also the issue of food and distribution of food that we have to resolve. Uh, I think Kaust has is going to play an important role in that. Uh, certainly from what I see, you're pushing the frontiers of our knowledge uh, in many different areas that are critical. How do you think the compound semiconductor and MOCVD technology can really improve the quality of the life for the Middle East uh, people here? Clearly, MLCVD has affected uh, everyone on the planet and will continue to do so. And the Middle East, as you know, is growing rapidly. The population is very young. All of those young people will need uh, access to, to clean water, to food, to better communication, to better medical treatment. Uh, so all of that will be important here in Saudi Arabia, which in this regime, region uh, has been the source of energy for many, many eons that we've all used and society's benefited. Uh, and I think this could be another place where the Middle East becomes important because they have a lot of potential energy here, a lot of smart people. So it could become a, 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 a place where people recognize that technology is the solution for a lot of problems uh, and that they develop people as well as the natural resources they have here.